Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Emily Lucy Rouch. If you're new here, I've got an Instagram account, a TikTok account, and a YouTube channel. So welcome. Please give this video a thumbs up and make sure you hit subscribe. Today's video is H&M one. I've never ever done a H&M haul before, but I've seen so many good bits from people recently posting about H&M Autumn and I thought, you know what, I need to represent the mid-sized girls and we need to make sure that H&M is representing us. So let's get going. I just wanna make things right. So if you've never been to my channel before, I just want to give you a bit of a backstory. I am a mid-sized stylist. I'm a qualified stylist, qualified personal shopper but I really specialize on making women who are from sizes 10 to 16 really understand their body shapes and how they can feel their most confident beautiful selves by choosing the right clothing so when it came to looking on H&M today I was a little bit like mm, none of the models are mid-size none of the models are really represented but that is something we quite often see so no surprises there but if you do have a similar body shape to me then this video is for you because I'm gonna show you how I've shopped from H&M and what bits I have chosen. And I have to say, some of these bits I saw online, I just feel like these are definitely gonna be flattering for my little thumper tummy area. So I'm gonna show you what I got so far and stop rumbling. First of all, unrelated to <laughs> mid-sized bodies and general style tips, I could not resist this bag. I saw it and I was like, mm, the quality, and it has not disappointed. Definitely giving me Zara vibes, but in a H&M way. So I had to buy. She's beautiful, right? So this beauty was $29.99. So I'm just reading the prices on here. And I actually think that's really good quality for this bag because I feel like it looks a lot more expensive than $29.99. Even the gold detail, it's not just like a tacky gold. That's actually a really nice plated gold. And I am 100% keeping this. It just looks so much more expensive than 30 pounds. I feel like you'd be like double taking if that was actually a designer bag. So she stays. Then I also picked up, so my total order came to 208 pounds for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, 10 items. So that's like, that's okay, right? 200, so 208 pounds for 10 items, including next day delivery. And I saw some things on the website, such as shaping skinny regular jeans. So I thought, I'm gonna try those. And then I also looked at leggings with creases. I love a good leather legging, and these have got like the crease down the front, which are quite hard to find, and they are super flattering to elongate your leg. So I got those in a 12 and a 14 to try, which I'll show you in a sec. And I also saw this dress, which is called See it, sucker dress, $24.99, dark beige. So I'm gonna show you that next. So on the website, this looks like it would really flutter and bring you in at the waist. The only issue that I'm gonna put out there before I even open the packet is see a sucker is literally like the most creased, awful fabric. <laughs> so let's just have a look. Oh my God, I just realized I'm like brown with brown nails. I'm really into brown right now. See a sucker, brown. <laughs> so first impressions is the fabric is a little bit too summer casual for me. Like I imagine putting this on after you've gone from the beach and you wanna go get something to eat. But the color is very fall. It's not something I could imagine ever wearing on holiday personally. So I feel like it's a bit of a mix in the middle. However, I do think with some tights, black boots and a coat, this could work for a more casual daytime look. So I'm gonna give that a go now. I'll try that on and let's see what we think. Wow, this is a straight no. <laughs> This looks so much better on the website than it does. It's definitely giving me dressing gown vibes. So I'll show you exactly what I mean. So as I said before, I knew this fabric is just way too beachy. It's definitely not working for autumn. It looks completely different on the website, so I'm really disappointed. But the color is really nice. It's just such a shame that the fabric is just way too dressing gown vibe. I literally feel like I'm like in a spa. So, number one, no. Next on the list is Again, I'm really into brown this autumn. This cropped jumper. And if you do follow me on Instagram, I do love a cropped jumper with a dress underneath and tights. I have loads of posts doing this kind of look. I just think it's really flattering for a mid-size frame. And also is a great way to reuse some of your summer dresses with tights and boots. 
but I saw this one in this brown colour and I do know the H&M is just so good for knitwear. They always deliver on the knitwear. But I just love this shade. I feel like it's just such a warm chocolate brown shade. And I do actually think it might work really well over the top of the last dress that I've just showed you. So I'm going to give it a go. I'm going to try it on now and let's see if that works. Fingers crossed it does. So the brown, just I've not put it with the dress because I just knew it would look awful. And to be honest, it's just a bit... Mm, not really necessary, here's it is what I'm wearing it with. It's just a bit like, it's okay. Then, as I already mentioned, I saw these ones, which are premium shaping, skinny, regular waist, size 14, skinny fit. They look like a very small size 14, but I will say the stretch on those feels really good and the quality of the denim seems really nice. They were, 40 pounds, which for a pair of jeans, I'm used to paying boohoo prices, not 40 pounds. But if I put them on and they change my life, I will eat my words because I have to say that denim does actually feel really good quality. So I'm gonna try those on with, again, a lot of brown going on today, but I picked up this shirt. It has not disappointed. The color, I just, Obviously brown is very in, in autumn, but I feel like this year especially, brown is just gonna be everywhere and like layering chocolate brown together. I just absolutely love these really rich, gorgeous shades. They work with blondes, brunettes, redheads. They are just so gorgeous for autumn. And this shirt, the quality is really lovely. I do love a shirt so much. You can either do like a bodysuit underneath it. You could do like a brown or a caramel or a beige bodysuit underneath it and have it open. But today I'm gonna style it with these jeans for more of like a restaurant cocktail style of outfit. So I'll try these bits on for you now and let's see what we think to this. Finally, an item that is actually nice. This shirt is lovely. I love how the buttons stop here and it's just this really nice fluttering neckline. The colour is stunning. I absolutely love a silk shirt and this colour is absolutely stunning, like I said, for autumn. Really like it. However, the jeans I'm wearing it with, let's talk about them. So the jeans I actually do like, but why are they just so low rise? Like who wants jeans that are mid-size or wants skinny shaping jeans that start here? Like I want, I want them to pull me in, not finish here and being awkward like I'm constantly pulling them up so they're just like so low rise so I wish they were high waisted but in terms of fit these are the 14 I do think they are very flattering they make your legs look longer but I won't be keeping them because I just know I've, ha I've got so many other jeans that I recommend and these are just like mediocre then next is more of an autumn staples restock I love in autumn layering, putting different coats and colours and shades together. I just think it really is the perfect time to experiment and put different tones together and create, you know, and really avoid black from your wardrobe. Black is a great colour, don't get me wrong. I love black, I wear a lot of black, but in autumn, I feel like it's the time that you can really get away with wearing quite a lot of neutral tones and mixing them together, feeling like you're very sophisticated by putting these really rich, gorgeous, expensive tones together. So I have picked up in a size medium this white oversized hoodie and I'm hoping because I got it in a medium it's going to be quite fitted because something I hate is getting something too oversized in autumn and it just really adds a lot of mass and shapelessness to my body and, sh and frame because I am quite curvy and short and I just want to really accentuate certain parts of my body and that is my arms, my shoulders and my waist. I don't want to go for anything that's too like drop sleeve and like too heavy and big. It just adds so much mass and it's just not the best look for me. I've learnt Many a time was what I actually like off the hanger is not always what suits me on my body. So I got this in a medium and white, yes, is very hard to keep clean, which is why I need to buy another one because last year's got a little bit messy, but I did get so many wears out of it. So I'm going to try this white one on for you now. Hopefully it is not too oversized. And I also loved that it's got this like little bit of a detail here so it's giving it again a bit more room and shape I'm not looking too square I can really move around with this hoodie on and it's moving to my body shape fingers crossed I'm gonna try that on with these leather leggings that I picked up like I said before in a size 14 and a size 12 because I don't know about you guys 
a lot of brands last year with the leggings I felt like I put them on and they were slightly tight but then within like half an hour they were halfway down my legs and squeaking and I just need them to fit perfectly I actually did do last year a leather leggings hat for if you are squeaking when you walk. A little bit of deodorant between your legs where it rubs, stops it straight away because it's like a chalky spray when you spray the deodorant on, stops it straight away. Probably should do that hack, save your life. So I'll try the 12 and the 14 on and we'll see which we think fits the best. We'll try that on with the white hoodie, some chunky trainers and a big coat for perfect autumn. Everyday shopping, coffee shop, brunch, vibe hoodie yes again another one that I like hoodie in size medium fits perfect it's got the nice little slits up the side i don't feel like it's too heavy it's still thick but not overly thick i don't feel bulky in it at all so hoodie is staying i really like this one with the leggings on the other hand wow okay if you've got a bum and a tum and hips these are not made for us at all i can just tell by the way that they start here like and that there's just so much crotch down here they're made for someone who's got like a really flat bum because there's just no room for my booty to get in it at all so i tried the 12 which is here and then right now i'm wearing the 14 which is here and again they, they both fit on the legs they just don't fit me on my bum at all they're like the crotch is like baggy so again i feel really disappointed with h&m like I'm all about diversity, I'm all about trying to be inclusive, but if the products aren't actually made for shapely women, then they're not gonna fit right on us. So right now, H&M has got more crosses against it than pluses, and I can just think of so many other brands that do better fitting items than right now. So let's try our final few. And then the last two bits I've got to show you are some knitwear bits. This one I absolutely fell in love with on the website. I just thought that there's like the ribbed detail and the shade is just so beautiful. I love that. So I'm gonna try that one on with the leather leggings as well. That one's in a size large. The price of that one was $17.99, which I don't think is too bad at all. And then I also picked up this jumper, $17.99, and I just love how it's got that material that like feels like it moves to your body. I actually think I might need a smaller size in that because I want it to be quite snug, but I might be wrong, we'll see, but I just love this ribbed material. It really works to like shape towards your body, elongate your torso. I'm hoping that this looks gorgeous with leather leggings. So I'm gonna try that on with leather leggings for you right now. But first, before I do that, show you this other one I got to try, which again is like a slightly cropped knit and this one was 9.99 so i saw it and i thought do you know what i can't not put that in my basket for 9.99 because it looks really nice now i've actually got it in front of me it's nice but i don't think i necessarily need it i think it's got to it's got to be either the brown that stays or this that stays but again i will try it let's see what it looks like as an outfit with leather leggings so i'll try both of those on for you right now oh my gosh Finally, it's something I can get excited about. This top is beautiful. I love it so much. This like fake roll neck is so nice as well. It's not restricting. I just love the rib. I knew I would love the rib. It's just so beautiful. The color, everything is just so perfect for autumn. So well done H&M. I love this. I will be keeping this. This is definitely gonna be added to my autumn wardrobe. I've styled it up here with leather leggings, boots, and put it with this gilet, which is, I'm imagining a crisp day. Maybe I go like have a coffee and a walk, go shop for a shop, and I wanna be warm, but look cool, have all the different colors working together, trying different trends, but it's definitely complementing my body shape. The leggings I'm wearing there are not from H&M, they're actually from Fashion Nova, and they're one of my favorite pairs of leather leggings. They're super flattering. Boots are from Boohoo, and also the g is from Boohoo. And then obviously the bag is the H&M one that I showed you at the start of this video. But I actually love this outfit together. This is my favorite vibe. This is a definite me kind of outfit. So I am 100% keeping this top. I love it. I feel like it's gonna be a really good staple for this autumn winter. And then finally is this crop top. I think I will be keeping this. I just think it's a really nice staple to have 
in your wardrobe to, as I said before, take your summer dresses to winter with some tights, put the dress underneath it, boots. I just think it's a nice add-on jumper for $9.99. So that is everything. So I hope you enjoyed that video. It is my first ever H&M haul. If you want to see me do more hauls like this, let me know. I have also got a Zara order on its way. There are some beautiful bits in from Zara. My whole order is black, which you know, I just said in this video to try and avoid wearing black at all costs, but the bits I've got from Zara are just stunning that are on their way, so that's going to come next week, I think. Like I said, if you haven't already, please make sure you subscribe, give this video a thumbs up. You do not want to miss my flattering autumn content. I'm here to make you feel your absolute best girl. So, thank you so much. Have a great day. Bye.